Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. And before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss a post, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram as well. Links are in the description. And it is congratulations to Canada who have taken home the gold medal from the Tokyo 2020 Olympics after beating Sweden 3-2 on penalties in a frantic game that got rescheduled from uh, time-wise due to the extreme heat and even stadium as well. It wasn't initially meant to take place in Tokyo, but like I said in the video the other day, it was rescheduled to Yokohama due to the extreme heat. And it was Sweden who got off to the best of starts with Stina Blackstenia scoring just after half an hour on the clock to give them a 1-0 lead. However, in the 67th minute, Jesse Fleming equalised for Canada to make it 1-1 from the penalty spot. And then it was just a frantic game in between the two goals and afterwards there. We went into extra time. Both teams had chances to go on and win it, but neither side could do so in 120 minutes. And that's why we went to penalty shootout. How it went, Kasavaro Aslani missed her first penalty. Jesse Fleming scored her. Then Natalie Bjorn equalised. Ashley Lawrence and Vanessa Gills and Adriana Leone missed their next three penalties for Canada, whilst Olivia Shu uh, scored for Sweden to make it 2-1. However, Anna Amvergada, Caroline Seeger and Jana Anderson all missed theirs. And then Diana Rose and Julia Grosso scored the winning penalty for Canada and Bev Priestman's side as they take home the gold medal. So massive congratulations to Canada who have taken home the gold medal at this summer's Olympics and it was fully deserved. Um, Sweden obviously were one of the great teams of the tournament and I had them uh, down on winning it but yeah Sweden have, um, Canada have definitely surprised a few teams and uh, a few people in winning this medal so congratulations to them and winning it. Uh, the match for third place that took place on Thursday saw so the USA beat Australia 4-3 with Carly Lloyd scoring a brace and Megan Rapino also scoring a brace for Blacko and Donofsky's side. Samka, Caitlin Ford and Emily Garnick scored the goals for Australia. Um, I think it was a fairly even uh, game but easy for the US to win as they just managed to get more clinical with their shots that they had and go on to win the bronze medal match. So though it's Sweden take home gold, um, Canada take home gold, Sweden take home silver, Austra USA take home bronze and Australia finish in fourth and the golden boot goes to Viviana Miedema who scored 10 goals in the tournament which is an incredible feat for her very first tournament. So that is now all the international football done and dusted for a month until we are back in late September for the qualifiers for the 2023 World Cup in Australia and New Zealand get underway. So now all attention turns to the league season as we get closer and closer. We're just a month away from the start of the WSL and it's gonna be a very interesting season. A reminder that some games will be shown on Sky and the BBC and those games that aren't, uh, that is of course in the UK, and the other games will be shown on the FA Player. And obviously if you're not in the UK, you'll be able to watch all the games on the FA Player. Right, we will be back. Uh, with more videos previewing up to the season over the next month or so and making sure we keep up to date with all the latest transfer news and stories from around the world of women's football. And until our next video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe, turn on personal notifications so you never miss a post and follow us on social media, that is Twitter, at Women's Football Talk, or no, sorry, WF Talk 2020 and on Instagram, Women's Football Talk uh, for all the latest transfer news and stories from around the world of women's football. And until next time, We'll see you soon.